हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑनलाइन फूड टेक्नोलॉजी कोर्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द फ्रोजन स्टोरेज ऑफ द फूड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इन विच द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फूड प्रिजर्वेशन बाय द फ्रीजिंग प्रोसेस द ऑल डिटेल्स वी विल डिस्कस इन द फ्रोजन स्टोरेज ऑफ द फूड फर्स्ट रिक्वायर टू फूड रिक्वायर टू प्रॉपरली फ्रीज एंड देन आफ्टर दैट दे आर स्टोर्ड अंडर द माइनस एटीन डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म in which the first freezing what is mean by freezing process friends freezing that means the water which is converted into the ice it is called as a freezing that means liquid which is converted into the solid when we stored under the below its freezing point temperature then liquid converted to the ice that is the water converted to the ice it is called as a freezing process this process is similarly occurred when we stored the food below its freezing point temperature then its foods containing water that water is converted into the ice it is called as a freezing of the food in which the food containing moisture in which moisture is containing in two form that is the free moisture and bound moisture in which food containing this moisture total free and bound moisture which is converted to the ice it is called as a freezing of the food product freezing point of the water pure water that is the 0 degree celsius but the freezing point of the food is lower than the 0 degree celsius it is totally depending on the composition of the food in which the food containing nutritive value that is it's containing carbohydrate protein fat that is the total composition of the, the food it also related to the its freezing point temperature you can see the concentration of the solution with respect to the freezing point relation if the concentration is increases then its freezing point decreases in average range of the freezing point of the food that is the it's depending on the composition but it is negative 0.5 to negative 5 degree celsius that is the minimum range of the required to store the food for the freezing in this temperature range then it is only possible it's containing water all water which is converted to the ice what is the basic principle of the food preservation by the freezing process when we stored the food below its freezing point temperature then first temperature of that food is reduces to its freezing point then after that it's containing all water that is the moisture containing in free and bond form this all moisture which is converted to the ice that is the crystallization process and then finally due to the conversion of all water into the ice its water activity is reduces and also under the low temperature microbial activities reduce and resulting preservation of the food is occurred application of frozen storage in the food processing industry in food processing industry all type of the foods in with the foods vegetables fish meat fish poultry uh, some of the liquid product like the fruit juices pulp all foods we can preserve by the application of the frozen storage you can see these are the major categories in which the foods vegetable fish and the seafood meat baked product prepared product uh, these are the all product we can preserve by the application of the frozen storage the next one is the freezing curve diagram you can see the freezing curve diagram of pure water in which temperature versus time required for the freezing process in which the main two graph that is the first one is the slow freezing in which the time required more and the second that is the peak freezing this is the peak freezing curve when we store the water under the frozen for the freezing process into the frozen storage that time initially it's suppose its initial temperature is 20 degrees celsius then it's containing heat that is the sensible heat is first removed its temperature is decreases below its freezing point that is the pure water freezing point temperature is 0 degrees celsius but its temperature is slightly reduced to 0 degrees celsius below and after that its temperature is again increase up to the point of the its freezing point and start the nucleation process in which the first nucleation occurred and after that the 
nucleation then converted into the crystal that is the crystal growing process up to the point c and then after that this point c its temperature is again reduced to the as per the internal storage temperature of that frozen storage room in this process these are the main steps in which the first removing of sensible heat then start to nucleation process then nucleation growth to convert it to the crystals then again finally this crystal temperature is reduced to its frozen temperature these are the main points in which the quick freezing process they first directly convert to the uh, nucleation process start and then immediately its crystal grow the number of the freezing equipments are available in which the freezing equipment some of the equipments are the quick freezing equipments and some of the equipments are the slow freezing equipments in which the depending on the slow freezing equipment and the quick freezing e equipments which are affected on the final quality of the product suppose we can use the slow freezing equipment the resulting slow freezing equipments which is the produced number of nucleation is very low resulting this low number of the nucleation growth of the crystals is very large size of the crystals are developed if we use the fast freezing equipment then number of nucleation formation are more small crystals which are developed number of small crystals are developed in this freezing process the crystallization is very important and the crystallization is totally depending on the freezing time temperature combination the comparison between the fast and slow freezing effect on the food you can see the fruits in which the containing internal number of the cells in the cells also inside containing the moisture outside of the cell also containing the moisture if we use the fast freezing process in this fast freezing process the formation of nucleation is more in which the inside of the cell and outside of the cell in which the formation of the nucleation is more resulting more ice crystals are developed which are not affected on the quality of the cell slow freezing process the slow freezing process required uh, 12 hours to 18 hours in this process cell inside containing moisture and the external moisture in which the formation of the nucleus lower resulting the ice crystals are develop more size which is affected or the damage of the cells resulting its textural properties decreases number of freezing equipments are available you can see the freezing equipments these are categorized into various groups on the basis of use of cooling media on on the basis of the freezing process that is the rate of freezing process in which the cooling media on the basis of cooling media the main four categories first that is the by using the cold air freezing equipments second category that is the cold surface freezer third category liquid cold freezers and fourth one is the cryogenic freezing equipments and these are the examples the freezing equipments on the basis of rate of freezing in which the slow quick rapid and ultra rapid freezing equipments and these are the main example of this group